Do you have a neck hump? In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite exercises that you can do in the comfort of your home to help eliminate or get rid of your neck hump. My name is Dr. John Saunders. Why another neck hump video? I have three or four other neck hump videos on my channel, so why this one? Those videos make up a neck hump series that I believe is one of the most thorough ones on YouTube, but they are heavy in information. I do a lot of explaining, a lot of demonstrating, so I figured it was time for the best of compilation video. One exercise, one stretch, one movement will not get rid of your neck hump. There needs to be a combination and a daily routine that is consistently done over a period of time to help reduce your neck hump. We're going to start with some stretching and then some exercising and some traction. And please make sure you watch the end because at the end, I'm going to give you my best tip on how to sleep to help reduce forward head posture, hunched forward posture, or a neck hump. So to improve your posture in your mid back and neck, one of the best things you can do is to stretch out your thoracic spine into extension. We're fixed in flexion, so we're going to open things up. So to do this, we're going to lean our elbows on a chair, a bench, something that's solid. So we want to put our elbows on the edge. We're going to take the back of our fingers, we're going to place it just basically where that hump would be on your neck. And what we're going to do is as we come down, so there's two things that we want to do. We want to drop, we want to drop our bottom into a squat. And we want to, if you see the opposite, the opposite is inflection. So we want to come into extension. So we want to extend our head up as we pull back on our hump and we want to sit down at the same time. So grab the back of our neck very gently and we're going to slowly extend up as we sit down. And again, the opposite of this would be to flex. But again, we're going to be, we're going to sit down, we're going to extend our head up, and we're going to open up our thoracic spine. Hold it for 10 seconds, three or four times, and you'll feel a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. So you want to take your fingers and you want to slide them on to the hump area. And what you want to do, you want to pull your elbows together and you want to just do some fascial release. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to grab the skin and you're going to pull it this way. And what you're going to do as you do that, you're going to stand up nice and tall and you're going to pull slowly down. So your elbows are going to come down as you pull the skin over the hump. While you do that, you're going to slowly extend your head up. You're going to feel very nice stretch. Slider hands, grab the base of your neck right where that hump is or the base of the neck between where the neck and mid back connect and we're going to pull slowly down as we strip away the muscles and skin around the area. So for this one, we're going to basically lock our shoulders in place and what we want to do is we want to extend our head up as we drive our belly down. So our knees are kind of above our hips and so the opposite movement would be flexion. This is going to be extension. You want to kind of screw your hands into the floor, so to speak, and extend up and then come back to neutral, extend up, pull your shoulder blades together, kind of a modified cow. And up and pull your shoulder blades together. Focus on that middle part of your back. And again, you should feel this one right between the shoulder blades, right below where that hump would be and into the back of your neck. This is going to be a modified YWT exercise. Some people do this lying prone or on their tummies. I'm going to give you a version that I find more effective to help reduce the hump in your back and improve your posture. So there's a few things you want to make sure. You want to make sure that you have a solid wall and you step back to the wall. 
And just like the name, YWT, that is what we're gonna make. So to start this exercise, we're gonna pull our shoulders back, we're gonna tuck our chin until it's touching the wall, and we're going to raise our arms up into a Y. What you don't wanna do is you do not wanna hike your shoulders up, you wanna keep them dropped down, we wanna pull the shoulders back, tuck your chin to the wall, and we're gonna start at a Y. We're gonna hold that for two seconds, you should really feel that between your mid shoulders, or in your thoracic spine, we're gonna come down, we're gonna make a W, and then we're gonna make a T, and each of these movements we're gonna hold for two seconds. You wanna do this three sets of 10 reps every single day. What you're gonna need for this one, you're gonna need a small, towel or a face cloth just for some padding and what we're going to do is we're going to really visualize and think about that mirror image exercise or that mirror image position the opposite of this position so we're going to take our small little towel or face cloth and we're going to just get against the wall and we're going to hold it there so think about the first thing you want to do is let's pull our shoulders back. Let's get our shoulders back. And if your head's off the wall, you're going to find that you have to pull it up. And as you pull it back, you might want to extend your head because your suboccipitals are tight. What you want to do is you want to make sure you tuck your chin and you pull your chin down and back into the face cloth. So again, chest up, shoulders back, chin tuck. And what we're gonna do, just this position might be difficult to get your head where it needs to be, but this is the right position. And you need to take a few steps out. And then what we're gonna do to fire those muscles, we're gonna actually pull and pull our chin towards the wall. We want our head over top of our shoulders, over top of our hips, nice position, chest up. And we wanna hold this position for two, to three minutes. And for some of you this might be difficult, but start off slow, five, 10, 15 seconds, whatever you can do, hold your shoulders back, pull them down, really take your chin and pull it in and use this as leverage to fire those muscles. You can really feel it deep in the muscles in the neck and at your suboccipital area. For this exercise, we're gonna get on our stomachs or we're gonna lie prone. We're gonna place our hands behind us. We wanna take our chin and tuck it and hold. Right away, you should feel this in your middle traps. We're gonna pull our shoulders back and elevate them off, of our, off the floor or a table. And we're gonna pull our shoulders down with a chin tuck. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna rest. We're gonna chin tuck, shoulders back, push down, point to our toes, so to speak, and hold. And relax. So for this one, we're going to take our hands. I'm gonna to turn to the side to demonstrate. We're gonna take our hands and you can grab them. You can either lock them in your fingers you can grab them uh, one over the other. It doesn't really matter, but what we wanna do is we wanna stand up straight, we wanna pull our shoulders back to engage our shoulder blade muscles, pull them back, and we're gonna press our hands out. So we wanna pull back and out with our shoulders back. At the same time, we're gonna extend our head, and then we're going to tuck our chin. And we're gonna hold this for five to 10 seconds. You wanna visualize the poor posture or the neck hump pulling in to the middle part of your back to try to pull the head back over top of the shoulders, reducing that hump. For some of you, you will feel this in the muscles at the upper part of the neck. For some of you, you'll feel a little bit of pressure where that hump is or between your shoulder blades. A little bit of pressure is okay. Pain is not. So for this traction or stretch, you can use either a pool noodle a rolled towel, a foam roller if you have it. But what we're gonna do a little bit differently here is we're gonna focus on our mid thoracic spine to mirror image that faulty, lazy postural pattern that we all 
or have. So take your towel or your pool noodle. We're gonna get this between our shoulder blades. That's where we want it. It might take a bit of maneuvering to get it in the right spot, but once you feel the, your thoracic cage or your rib cage open up, you know you're in the right spot. To start to make it easy, you might wanna keep your legs bent, but then you're just gonna extend over top just like this. Let your shoulders roll out. That feels really good. You can keep your arms out to the side if you want a little more stretch. You need to stay in this position for a minimum of five minutes, but you can do this up to 15 to 20 minutes a day. For some of you that want to help with a neck curve, what you can do is you can kind of edge back. You can either put a, a towel under your neck, a smaller towel, or if you're on the edge of a bed, you can kind of just kind of edge back and get your head slightly extended off as well. Open again, open up the shoulders. Think happy, healthy thoughts. It's a nice time to relax. Is using a foam roller in line with your spine. And this is more of a, a hold type movement, but it feels really good allowing us to open up our chest cavity, get our shoulders back, and extend our neck over top. When you're getting on, very slow is the key. You want to maybe crab walk onto it, extend over top. You want to get to the top of the foam roller so your head can extend over top like this. Make sure it's nice and straight, line right up with your spine. You really want to get in a nice position. Open up the chest, get your arms out to your side. Nice, deep breaths. really focusing on opening your chest. You'll feel everything start to relax on the front anterior aspect of your chest wall and your neck. And when it's time to get off, you just slowly roll off to the side. So what is the proper way to sleep to help reduce a neck hump hunched forward posture or forward head posture. I've added this into this compilation video because I think it's such an important point to help you correct your hump. As well, many of you requested for a demonstration of how to sleep with a neck hump because with this video here, I showed you how to do it with the spine but didn't demonstrate it myself. So I'm gonna do that right now. A neck hump that's caused by poor posture is typically because there's what we call a hyperkyphosis or a flex forward position in the thoracic spine. So we want to actually take this part and use it with gravity to help, let's see if you can make sure you can see this, to help pull that spine down. The problem is unless you have a firm mattress, your spine is just going to sink in and it's not going to fix that posture. So as I've shown before, one of the best ways to help to put another layer of support is a pillow lengthwise. And the reason being is when we do this, it creates a situation where the head will be lined back up with the mid thoracic spine and it won't be protruding ahead. This is the position you should sleep in if your main focus is to fix that neck hump or that forward posture. Let me demonstrate now. Okay, so what you wanna do is very simple. Put the pillow lengthwise. You wanna hit the edge just above your lower back and, but below your shoulder blades. And you just wanna lie down, very comfortable. Make sure your head is in line with your shoulders, which is in line with your thoracic cage. Now, some of you have asked about your lower back. To support your lower back, of course, you can put a pillow underneath your knees and just nice, open up your shoulders, get in a nice position close your eyes and just relax. Now we know we don't stay like this all night, but that's okay. When you wake up, just self-correct the position, put the pillows back in the right position and try to fall asleep. Now, if you do have a firmer mattress, you don't need the pillow. You can literally just sleep without a pillow. This you'll see is your neck or your ear over top of your shoulder and your head is not relatively forward to your thoracic cage. This is the best way to fix forward head posture, a hunched forward posture, or a neck hump. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, leave it below and I'll do my best to answer it as soon as possible. And finally, if you enjoy the content I'm putting out, I'd really appreciate some support by hitting the subscribe button 
and the notification bell below so you can be informed when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video. And until then, stay well.